But what I tell people is gangs don't start in the schools, they start in the neighborhoods. So it behooves you to pay attention to your kids and their affiliations. Now people will say, well, you have a gang problem with Smyrna? Yes, we do. But you have a gang problem also, what's that the, um, aristocratic place where you're East Cop? You have a gang problem there as well. So the difference is, it, um, you have, the only reason I say you have a gang problem is because you have some. So if you have none, then you have no gang problem. And that's throughout the whole Cobb County, the um, southeast, southeast United States anyway. But when it comes down to the meth, we've, we've not had a meth, uh, a meth problem. We haven't had to um, have any special special squads made for that or anything of that nature. We do have a, a street crime unit. We do have um, uh, a Cobb, Smyrna, Marietta, um, CMS. That's our undercover drug guys, and they do controlled drug buys. But when it comes down to meth, we, have, we haven't had a meth problem. And if there was someone that entered, that you that you saw that that particular snippet on there, then if, they didn't, if you didn't see a Smyrna police officer <coughs> telling you this or telling you more, you know, if you saw a Cobb County officer saying X Y Z or someone other than that, then it's something that didn't happen. Because a lot of times we we're not going to hide anything when it comes down to that. Because neighbors, citizens need to know what's going on. And, but we haven't had a problem with such thing. What problems have there been in the Silver Comet Trail recently? Oh. Portion of the Silver Comet Trail in Cobb County. Now on our end, we've had none, but I cannot I cannot speak for what Cobb County's had. So now the there last problem they had rumors of uh, you know gang problems on the common trail. What type of gang problem? I don't know. That's just that's all I heard. See, yeah. <laughs> so that's see, why I'm trying to get clarification. See, see, I, I would a lot of times consider the source and reference to that because in uh, where, where the where the Silver Common Trail begins in Smyrna, <laughs> which is in Nigger Jack. We've had no problems in reference to that. None. Now you can check with um, Cobb. I think Cobb has a, a site that can actually give you information in reference to that. But as far as like any information, anything that we we've had involved in that, we've had none. Yes, ma'am. I was just, just going to tell you that. I mean, what I read in the news, and perhaps this is what you're talking about. It was a man who was accosted by three individuals, but it wasn't in Smyrna. It was in Cobb. In Cobb. See, that's the only thing, a lot of things, it, it extends so much, and, and see, this is the bad thing about, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm from the, to the northeast, so if it's in this city, it's in that city, but Smyrna is kind of broken up. You have Smyrna, then you have unincorporated Cobb County, which is also Smyrna. So you may have Smyrna, Smyrna, Smyrna in a small pocket of Cobb County, so I, I can't answer too much for what they put in Yes, ma'am. Is the um, Silver Comet Patrol? Yes. Yeah. It is. Okay. Ever since that unfortunate incident with the with the lady being um, killed, murdered. Yeah, another thing that I heard was that we have a problem with, you know, illegal Hispanics, a big problem in Smyrna. Is that true? I'm just, I'm just saying. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to define, saying, define, I'm define, define problem. What, you know, you're saying we have a problem. What type of problem are we talking about? A lot of moving in, a lot of. Compared to other areas of the we don't have any any more problems than anyone else, but when it comes down to limo, illegal immigration is not just Latinos. We talk about your Croatians, you talk about uh, your, um, Koreans, you talk about Asians and stuff as far as like that. So it's not just that. If that's the case, then we have that throughout, throughout the Southeast. But as far as like that, we have none bigger than anyone else. So I don't, I don't see it as a problem when it comes down to that. Yes? Um, going back to gangs, um, what kind of gang activity um, are we seeing here? As well? like what are some of the, the crimes or activities that they're participating in? Actually, we haven't had Act, any any articulable activities? See, because the difference is now, if you have two or, two, or pe two or more people assembling, that can be considered a gang. That's under Georgia law. And we've, we haven't had as many <laughs> problems as other jurisdictions. We haven't had any gang wars. We uh, I think around two years ago, there was uh, a gang shooting, a retaliation shooting, and it happened on the other side of town. But for the most part, we haven't had any gang, anything that's articulable as far as like, there's not a gang, a, a gang problem, so to speak, that you can sit there and say, I walk out my door and I may get shot in the drive-bys on a day-to-day -day basis. Is so, there like a particular, uh, like a special unit that deals with gangs, or is it not? We have, our street, we have our street crimes units that deal with gangs and deal with any other criminal activity that uniforms can't get to. And if you call, if you call my number, I can actually switch you to, either um, Gerald Williams 
or Chad Hutto, and they can give you more, more in-depth detail and reference to that on what they're doing to um, remedy the problem. So they're doing, they're doing a really good job, too. Someone else had a question? Yes, ma'am. Um, not recently, but I would say within the past 12 months, there's been graffiti behind the fire station that's right on Concord Road. And I've always heard that that's one of the signs that there's gang activity in the neighborhood. There, there's, there's tagging and there's graffiti. You gotta realize that most of, uh, most of the graffiti that you saw or that was there was actually someone trying to be a graffiti artist. Now when you start talking about someone tagging and marking their territory, then something more articulable as far as like they're <coughs> putting down signs from actual various gangs. And now that particular one that you're talking about, it wasn't wasn't gangs marking their territory. Because we have they have a lot of tagging that goes throughout the city that people see and they'll think, oh my god, it's a gang, it's a gang sign, when a lot of times it's not. So you gotta look at the content. You know what you see, most people, most lay people don't know what they're looking for, and we do, and we and we see some things and go, well, thank God it's just someone trying to be an artist. What are some of those things that we should be looking for? If, I see, if you see some, then I'll articulate them. Because if not, if I tell you now, the people think, oh, this is a gang sign, it's a gang sign. I will take a picture of it and forward it to us and we'll just explain more. Because okay. one thing I won't do is I won't panic the public. <laughs> That's quick to do. Yes, sir. From a, from a no soliciting standpoint in the neighborhood, everything from little magnets on your mailbox to the little bag with a stone in it thrown in there with information, flyers to everything else. That occurs a lot, at least for my aspect, when we're not home. Either we get up in the morning, it's there. So somebody's coming during the night, coming. Is that an issue we need to watch to? Uh, you can't see, most people don't understand. This is the biggest I mean, thing about- that's a business it. thing, I This is the biggest thing about the neighborhood watch program too. There's somebody home seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Now, if you don't pay attention to detail when you see certain things, most people don't call 911. They see someone out there driving at three in the morning. Are you here? Because I sleep. I sleep real, really. I sleep real light, so I can hear cars driving up and down the street at three and four in the morning. And most people, they'll hear this and then turn over and say it's not a problem. The next day, you come up, come out there, and all these things on your on your, in front of your garage and things of that nature. If you see that, give us a call so we can talk to them. Because it doesn't matter if after the next day, look, we found this not mailbox. Because there's nothing we can do in reference to that. They can say, look, we told them not to go over there. And they still went in that neighborhood. If we catch them, we can do, we can do more in speaking to them personally than we can and wanting them via telephone. It's got their name and everything on the card. <laughs> again, again, we I understand that, but we, it's it's easy because most of the guys that deliver these things, they're not the managers, they're not the boss, or whatever. And the boss can say, I didn't tell them to deliver over there. I told them to stay away from that neighborhood. This way, you can speak to the individual and you can speak to the boss via telephone. Say, look, I'm with your guy. He comes out again, we're going to charge you. So we can cite them too. I like citing the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like that. Yes, ma'am. But that thing that we have that we put on our mailboxes, the little green tag, uh, ever, ever since <coughs> I got that from um, Heritage, I've had none of those things left on my mailbox. Or it's a green tag that you're, that no bills. No bills. No bills. No just look around, cleaning people, uh, and it's helped tremendously since that, you know, I have not anything. How did you get those green stickers? Yeah, for heritage. We didn't get them. We just called them up. They call it keeps on the well, anyway, that that's a good thing, and, and, and it could be it could be that it did work, or you could just get just a bit fortunate. Because the difference is that most people don't pay attention to signs that say no solicitation. This, if you're entering the city of Smyrna, there's signs near the city of Smyrna that says no solicitation. So different thing, that doesn't mean there's no solicitation near the sign, that's throughout the city. So what will happen, again, it's a lot easier, don't confront them.